China is planning to launch a record-breaking 60 missions into space this year. Among these would be the missions to transport the last two modules needed to complete its space station. Here are the details. The South China Morning Post reports that the Chinese government plans to break its 2021 record this year by launching 60 missions into space. Last year, the country sent 55 missions into space, compared to America's 43 missions, which consisted mostly of SpaceX launches. However, this year it could be hard for China to beat the US number, as SpaceX alone plans to launch a rocket into space every week. Among China's planned 60 launches would be the last two modules needed to complete its Tiangong space station. China says these modules would each weigh more than 20 tons and are designed to be used as science laboratories. The first module is scheduled to launch around the middle of the year and will feature a robotic arm, which would become the station's second such arm. This module would also feature an airlock that's designed to make spacewalks easier. The station's crew has already conducted two spacewalks, while also testing the station's existing robotic arm. China started constructing the Tiangong space station after building and then abandoning two other stations. It says the new station will be a long-term orbital facility. The huge, 30-meter-tall core of a Chinese rocket is tumbling wildly through low Earth orbit and could crash anywhere on Earth in the coming days. The same type of Chinese rocket crashed into a village in West Africa a year ago. Here are the details. On Wednesday, April 28th, China launched a massive Long March 5B rocket that carried the first module of its planned space station into orbit. The Guardian reports that the core stage of this rocket was supposed to fall back to Earth in a controlled descent, but something went wrong, and the 30-meter-tall rocket stage started skipping on Earth's atmosphere. And no one knows where it will crash once the drag of Earth's atmosphere tugs it down to the planet's surface. Much of the core will likely burn up in the atmosphere, but there is a chance that some chunks of debris will survive the re-entry and rain down on the land or ocean. This, sadly, wouldn't be the first time. In May 2020, a Long March 5B rocket slammed through the atmosphere, partially burning up during its descent. The core fell largely into the Atlantic Ocean, but some debris landed in West Africa. According to the South China Morning Post, some chunks of debris crashed into houses and villages in Côte d'Ivoire, though thankfully, no casualties were reported. On Tuesday, May 4th, the latest out-of-control Chinese rocket was orbiting Earth around once every 90 minutes at a speed of about 27,600 kilometers per hour and an altitude of more than 300 kilometers. The U.S. military has named it 2021-035B, and its path can be seen on websites that track objects in Earth's orbit. NASA plans to burn the International Space Station in Earth's atmosphere before allowing the unburnt parts to crash into the ocean. Here are the details. The BBC reports that NASA is preparing to burn up the International Space Station and letting the unburnt remains crash into a remote part of the Pacific Ocean. The news comes after the Biden administration said it had committed to extend the space station's activities until 2030. NASA says the first part of the station's termination is to use the aging hulk as a platform for testing the modules that private companies will use to build their own private space stations. Work on the ISS will continue as usual until 2030, but from 2026, the station will be allowed to gradually lose altitude. Between June and November of 2030, three additional uncrewed cargo ships will dock with the station and use their engines to slow it down. When the station reaches an altitude of 280 kilometers, it will pass the point of no return, from where it won't be able to return to a safe orbit. It will then drop into Earth's atmosphere, where most of it will burn up, with the remaining parts falling to Earth. NASA plans to time the station's descent so that the remaining parts will crash into the most remote part of the South Pacific. NASA says it will save $1.3 billion by using private companies to provide platforms and astronauts for activities in low Earth orbit. NASA says this money can then be spent on the exploration of deep space. China used a strange way to complain about Elon Musk's Starlink satellites doing to the Chinese space station what China had been doing much worse to the ISS since 2007. Here are the details. The Guardian reports that China has complained to the UN about having to maneuver its space station twice to avoid it getting stuck by some of SpaceX's Starlink satellites. In a report that Beijing submitted to the UN's Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space, China complained that its space station had to use collision avoidance procedures in July and October to avoid a collision. China also called on the US to bear responsibility for the Starlink incident. This comes only years after China used a missile to blow up one of its satellites in 2007, causing a huge cloud of space debris that forced the International Space Station to do collision avoidance maneuvers multiple times to get out of the way of Chinese satellite debris. 
Jonathan McDowell, an astrophysicist at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, told the Guardian that China was not innocent when it came to creating collision risks in space. He also said that it was highly unusual for a country to lodge a complaint through what he called an informational bulletin to the UN. Meanwhile, Chinese state media outlet Global News claimed that so-called experts said the two incidents show that Starlink satellites were being used by the U.S. to test the Chinese space station's ability to respond and maneuver. Some U.S. observers believe the complaint was created as an excuse to suppress Elon Musk's Tesla car company's market share in China. China plans to build massive space structures that could be more than a mile long and spaceships that would dwarf SpaceX's giant starship. And it plans to manufacture these giant structures piece by piece in Earth orbit. Here are the details. The South China Morning Post reports that a Chinese government research body, the National Natural Science Foundation of China, has published a five-year plan to research the best way to build massive structures in space. The plan is to build spacecraft that could be as massive as a kilometer long in space after launching the building materials into orbit. Other research targets include the building of giant space telescopes in space and giant power plants that would be added in modular fashion, creating megastructures hanging in Earth orbit. The biggest space object ever built by humans is the International Space Station. China's plan is to build space objects that would be 10 times longer than the 109 meters of the International Space Station. China's National Natural Science Foundation published the plan after researchers at the Chinese Academy of Sciences warned that space technology is developing rapidly, and this means that new methods need to be found to launch, deploy, and manufacture spacecraft. Analysts theorize that in-space construction could also improve spacecraft performance and reduce operating costs. China has recently been grabbing headlines by announcing big space projects that fired the imagination. But critics say these research projects are mostly aimed at creating propaganda headlines, while the resulting technology itself would be virtually impossible to deliver. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.